Calm corners are important social emotional learning SEL environments. This is my calm corner in my classroom. I put it just beside the reading corner because some of my students uh, also use books to calm themselves. Uh, just remember that the calm space should be a safe space for them. Okay. Now, these are some of the materials uh, that I use. I have this big uh, timer. This is a 10-minute timer. They use this to time themselves. So it's just a maximum of 10 minutes. And I have some stress balls, um, fidget spinners, and all those that may calm yourself. So once they go to the calm corner, they set the timer. But um, this is where the confusion comes in. When do students go to the calm corner? For my classroom, it could be voluntary or teacher directed. So sometimes when students feel overwhelmed, especially when they have... Um, anger issues or they are generally not feeling comfortable at the moment i allow them to raise their hands and when they go to the calm space they get to fill out the think sheet form so it looks like this this is just very basic you can devise your own when students go to the calm space they become accountable of their behaviors and uh, once they fill this out, now their parents has to affix their signature as well. So they cannot just ask and go to the calm corner anytime because there's a consequence uh, to it. Huh? And there are also suggestions here so that they can do or ideas the next time they are in, the, in that same situation. So... That's it. I'm going to put also the link of this one below if you want to use this in your class. Okay. Now, after filling out the think sheet form, then they get to choose the materials that will calm them down. And at the end of the 10-minute timer, they are expected to go back to their seat, join the class, and positively engage with the discussion. So that is the expectation we set. Now, if they cannot do this one, then they are not allowed to use the calm space because again, it is a privilege. Now, um, in order to remove the connotation that when you go to the calm space, you have been off task. So one thing that I also do during recess or during lunchtime is I pick three of my students who have been behaving really well and they get to have 10 minutes in the calm space. So that way, those who are misbehaving or not misbehaving, they equally get the chance to experience our, our calm space.